Hello, everybody, and welcome along to Al Awal Park in Riyadh as the Asian Champions League round of 16 continues with the second leg of this all Saudi affair between Al Nasser and Al Fire. Seven days ago, a solitary strike from Cristiano Ronaldo was enough to give Al Nasser the advantage in the tie and, in most people's eyes, make them overwhelming favourites to progress to the quarterfinals. However, Al Fayed have already sprung a surprise or two in the, this, their first ever venture into this competition, and they'll be desperate to upset their big spending hosts today. It's a lovely evening for football, too, here in the Saudi capital. Temperatures of around 21 degrees as we approach kickoff time. On paper, the difference between these two sides is a chasm. Al Nasser has sat 27 points clear of Al Fayed in the Saudi Pro League after 20 games. Al Nasser are also unbeaten in the last 11 meetings between the two. But Al Hilal may have felt similar in the King's Cup final of 2022. And yet it was Al Fayed who emerged with the win, with the trophy, which put them into this competition. That was a special performance. Do they have another special performance in them? or the game this evening. Well, it will certainly take one, and I guess we shall know in the next couple of hours. Home coach Luis Castro names three changes from the first leg a week ago. Goalkeeper Raghed al Naja suffered an injury scare at the weekend, and with David Ospina still out injured too, it is 37-year-old Walid Abdullah who lines up in between the posts. Taliska also misses out. He's replaced by Sadio Mane in the front three. Well, Ali Lajami replaces Sultan Al Ghanam in defence. Al Fayed, they also named three changes in the first leg and look to have shifted from a back three into a 4 2 3 1. Osama Al Khalaf and Goko Simarot join top scorer Henry Onyakuru in starting this evening. Al Kabari, Rakan Al Kabai, and Sultan Mandash are the two players, the three players even, who drop out. And the winners of this tie will meet either Ally of UAE or Nasaf of Uzbekistan in the quarterfinals. That game is being played as we speak. It is currently one apiece in the last couple of minutes and heading towards extra time in that one. And there's a, certainly a, a healthy crowd in this evening. And there's a great deal of expectancy amongst the home supporters. They certainly feel their sides are overwhelming favourites to go through. This is a competition that Al Nasser have never won. They've made a couple of semi-finals, but they certainly want the big one. They want to become champions of Asia. A big step in getting into the last eight and the business end of the competition. And we are just about to welcome the two sets of players out onto the pitch. I mentioned it's a, a lovely night. The pitch is looking in very good condition too. And the first leg was also played in Riyadh. It was a a long journey for Al Fayed in a game that was meant to be their home game. Around a couple of hundred kilometres away from their home city. There weren't too many in in the game that night, but as I say, there's a healthy crowd this evening. And that's it. A little fancy of their chances. Cristiano Ronaldo has been in good form. Recent weeks and scored plenty of goals. He scored in each of his previous seven competitive games, and he's scored four in five Champions League appearances so far this season. And fire up to that first leg. We're one of only two sides in the Saudi top flight who Ronaldo had failed to score against. Now Albatin are the only side in that particular category. So then we are just about to welcome let's see these two sets of players out onto the pitch. And we have a, an all-Chinese officiating team for the game this evening. 
Ma Ning is the man in charge. Well, Fu Ming is the man in the VAR booth. And let's hope we aren't talking too much about either official at the end of this contest. So the two sets of players then making their way out from the tunnel. A terrific stadium. This is talk of Al Nasser moving on from this home ground if uh, Saudi Arabia are to host an upcoming World Cup. So they come then. Two sets of players, the home side in their yellow shirts and blue shorts. The visitors all in white. And the Knights, as they are known, welcomed out onto the pitch healthy crowd there should be plenty of noise as this game gets underway so as I say then Luis Castro names three changes to his side he won't change his system it will be 4-2-3-1 run through Home side for you now. As I mentioned, Walid Abdullah is the man in between the posts. The back four made up of uh, Abdullah, Al Amiri, Ali Lajami, Emrick Laporte, and Aziz Bayic. Two sitting mid mid midfield players Abdullah Al Kabari and Marcello Brozovic, who was excellent in that first leg. I meant Yaya Otavio, who's shook off a knock to be fit to play, and Sadio Mane will play behind Cristiano Ronaldo for Al Nasser and again this evening as for Al Fire will they line up with Vladimir Stojkovic in between the posts Akir Al Rashidi Mohamed Al Bakawi Hussein Al Shuesh and Asama Al Khalaf will make up their back four Abdul Rahman Al Safari and Goko Simarat and two sitting midfield players with Sakala, Al Hati, and Onyakuru playing behind Anthony Nawakeme. He will lead the line for Al Fayed this evening. Much needed victory for Al Fayed at the weekend. Things were just beginning to look at a little desperate for them. Mid-season break came at a really good time for them. They'd lost five straight games in the league. And so they did record that 3-1 victory as the league season resumed on Saturday against Al Hazem. And currently sat 13th in the 18 team league, which is four point four clear of the relegation zone. And Luke Razovic prior to this game talking about the importance of Al Fire taking the chances when they come their way. And they put in a, a terrific away performance at uh, Pacta Court last time out in the Asian Champions League. Yeah, they did exactly that. They scored four goals even after falling behind in that game. They were magnificent as they forced their way into these knockout stages. Fashion Sakala, the ex-Rangers man, grabbing a couple of goals that day. What he would give to do the same in the game this evening. We're just checking with the referee then. And we shall get this game underway. The second leg of this last 16 tie. by the fact they've got a couple of excellent footballers in on loan from Al Nasser and then Conan the left back and Yusuf Akawi uh, but both been involved for them in the league this season but they can't play in this game so we are underway then the home side in the yellow shirts and blue shorts get us underway attacking the goal to our left in this first half Looking for a give and go. Yeah. And down the line towards Atavia, but it's cut out. And out for the game's first throw. 
And he did miss the first leg. Cristiano Ronaldo, the difference maker. Scoring nine minutes from the end, it was a, a really good finish, it has to be said. Combining for the umpteenth time in that game with uh, Brozovic. An excellent finish from Ronaldo. Bejic closed down and out for the throw. And Sadio Mane back involved this evening. Another former Premier League winner in Emmerich Laporte. And Brozovic. And Kibari. Mary is cut out. That's Brozovic. Lechiami just looking for the early ball in Sadio Mane. Can't find him. Stojkovic. Another vastly experienced goalkeeper. 40 years of age is Vladimir Stojkovic. And Kalaf. Trying to work the ball down the line towards. Now it came in, you won't get there. It's on it for the first time. Sevilla. And Ronaldo will look to get in behind, and the flag stays down. Cristiano Ronaldo has Mane up with him. Ronaldo goes to the ground inside the penalty area, and the referee's assistant flag goes up on the far side. Side the verdict. And it's a tight one, but it looks to be the right decision. As it frustrates many. It's a, the assistant doesn't put his flag up straight away, but in the VAR era. It's not something they can do. Hearing from elsewhere that Alain have got themselves a winner in stoppage time. And so Alain will be the opponents of the winner of this tie. Goal in that game coming in the 92nd minute. trailing just after half time in that game and able to turn things around and take their place in the last eight and from the Jami Octavio under pressure but he did well he's got a good ball as well Looking for Mane. Available outside him is the Australian international Bejic. Bejic finding Brozovic, and Brozovic was trying to use Sadio Mane. And ball not sticking with Alfaya. It's a good turn from Alkibari. Bejic again. And reporters. I'm happy to go back to his goalkeeper, Abdullah. And Kabari again. Made off from Ronaldo, and the Bing fans appreciated that flick. Ronaldo once more. Here's Brozovic. Mane, Ronaldo, to be lining up a shot. Instead, he finds Mane with the back heel. Patiently probing from the home side. Savio trying to push it on through to Mane. And Mane is only able to run that out of play. Bit of a 
frustrating couple of years for Sadio Mane. Certainly keen to make an impression this evening. Involved at all in the first leg of the tie, not even on the bench. to score 12 goals so far this season though Sadio Mane driving run over on the far side Mane Ronaldo now Kabari from Otavio who uh, hobbled off after scoring the winner on Saturday here's on Yakuru on Yakuru trying to up on the afterburners to get away. It's unable to do so. Jami defending well. Now Kabari. From the port. Ronaldo. Brozovic always seems to be available for a pass. From El Amri. the ports Mane Not to use Bayic in behind passes just a fraction under hit really good vision to look for the Australian and the port has some defending to do but Fashion Sakala has got the better of him Fashion Sakala's driven cross there's just too much on it and only Kuru unable to keep it in play over on the far side but good work from the former Rangers man Fashion Sakala to keep himself on side, good strength to hold off the challenge of the ports. What he was really looking for was a, a near post run from uh, now Kemi. And Kura to go towards the far post. Brozovic has a problem. Ronaldo from Beige. Kilbari as well. But Sabia. Sabia looking for the ball in behind it. Ronaldo has got there. The flag has momentarily stayed down. It's helped away from Sakala. Look to build again, Will Al Nasser. That's excellent football in the middle of the pitch. Manic. Belty was impeded. The referee agrees. Free kick given against Albuquerque. And we are nine minutes in. Brozovic. Oh, it's a nice idea. It's quite got his angles right. It's a bit frustrated with himself, possibly. But Tevye, big mini arrival in the summer. Porto. The port. That's a really good ball from the former Manchester City man. And he looks to get in behind again. Al Nasser. Mane and Ronaldo in the middle. Otavio. Otavio's cross. Ronaldo's getting up there. He can't quite reach it. And it's put behind for the corner. Another 
teasing delivery. And Brozovic will take this corner. Pat Brozovic will leave the corner. He was involved in pretty much every set piece a week ago. take it although not before the referees had a word since something inside the penalty area he's uh, unhappy with report being spoken to Kawi standing ahead of Lepore and Arati there as well as this corner comes in. That's a good outswing it. It's met solidly on the head, but it's behind harmlessly in the end. Well wide from Ali Lajami. And no danger so far for Vladimir Stojkovic. in a, a game where they are massive underdogs in this contest that Brazovic will be talking to his men about breaking the game down into chunks. They nearly hit the 15-minute mark, all level. This is just the one goal. They don't have to score immediately. They keep the tie level and then possibly have a, a real go in the last 15 minutes or so. Just suits Al Fire. Just try and frustrate Al Nasser ahead of that. Jami finding the forts. Now Mane. Mane showing great strength to maintain possession as he's done. Throughout his career is Bejic. Bejic has used the ball well, Otavio. Now Ronaldo, he's urged to have a go by the home fans. He does exactly that. Well blocked, though. And, uh, launched into the crowd. Safety first to Malcala, but they're in a hurry to get on with things. Is Mane. And that's going to be a free kick given against Sadio Mane. of a very cheap yellow card, Sadio Mane. Certainly was spoken to by the referee. So Stojkovic with this free kick, he'll be pleased he's had very little to do so far. Stojkovic, well in the air from the court, there's Mane, and while the referee's seen an instant off the ball, it's going to be a free kick and a yellow card. Well, and Safari. <laughs> just clips the, uh, the knee of Sadio Mane. All about the referee's decision. Look again here. Well, it's right under the nose of the referee. He gave the free kick for the challenge of Manny, but it's the, the yellow card has come out for the incident on Matavia, who is back on his feet.
Anyway, free kick out Nasser. The port standing over it. Checking to make sure yellow is enough, and indeed it is. So here we go. Lukabari, Mane, Bech. That's the experienced and well travelled Australian international. It's a dangerous looking ball in towards Octavio! And what a start for Al Nasser! 16 minutes in, and Otavio drifts into the penalty area unnoticed and flicks the ball home from close range. And that is just what the vast majority inside this stadium wanted, an early goal. Gabari with a clever ball. Defender doesn't go with the runner from midfield, Otavio. And the header through the goalkeeper's legs. I have to say, I think Stojkovic will be very disappointed with that. Maybe just taking his eye off the ball, the goalkeeper. But Al Nasser and Otavio won't care. They have their noses in front. It's 17 minutes on the clock. And well, this was already looking to like a, a very difficult task for Al Fayet. That mountain has got just a little bit steeper. One nil on the night, two nil on aggregate. Absolutely vital then. And Al Fayet get the next goal if they are to have any chance you feel of going through. Simple header back from the ports. And Jami. Bit loose in midfield, but Brozovic will get there. And Otavio, a good header. Brozovic looks to use Ronaldo. And Ronaldo might be through here. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's gone to ground. All eyes towards the referee. And he is not interested. You can hear what the home fans think to that. VAR will, of course, have a look at it. Here's Sakala, though, at the other end. Now Kemi lets it run. Here's Al Harty. Pressure building. And the referee doesn't like the challenge of Octavia this time. And now he's had his name taken by the referee. Let's see, though, if we can have another look. At that penalty appeal. There is the challenge, is it? A forearm, isn't there, from Otavia? And here's what we're looking at. Ronaldo is onside as the ball is played. Driving into the penalty area. He's got his arms on the two defenders as well, hasn't he, Ronaldo? Well, I think it would be soft if it's given. Suspect. VAR. I suspect that VAR aren't too interested. Maybe 10 years ago, Ronaldo at 29, and they've had a, a little bit more legs about it. Still quick at 39, don't get me wrong, but maybe not quite what he once was in terms of running away from defenders. By the time catches up with all of us, after all, is Al Khalaf looking for the early ball. Comfortable take for Abdullah. There's Laporte. Brozovic finding Mane. Mane to Ronaldo. Ronaldo closed down. Unhappy that the ball wasn't available for a quick throw. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's 
Robertson, always hungry, isn't he? Always wants the ball, always wants to score more goals. Latavia. It's cut out from Noah Kami in the uh, centre circle, and he looks to hold off the challenge. The referee lets it go. Here's Sakala, and he was desperate for somebody with it. Sorry, that was uh, Onyekuru rather than Sakala. It was Sakala we was looking for. That's Brozovic. Latavia. Ronaldo. Using Bayic outside of it. And Bayic looking for options in the middle. In comes the cross. It's flicked away. And helped away. Oh, yeah, Mount Safari. Chance to find a cross, perhaps. For Elmari. Mane. And still. Mane in towards Ronaldo. Oh, he can't bring the ball down. Did well to peel away. Suspect he was just offside that time. Carry looking for the ball over the top. Dealt with well. Memory for Brozovic. Mane, Otavio. Now, yeah. Brozovic. Tavio interested again, looking for the give and go. Tavio trying to wriggle his way through in the penalty area. He succeeds in bringing his man to the ground. And that's a battle between Tavio uh, and uh, Safari continues. players in the referee's notebook already. So 23 minutes in then. One goal on the night, two goals on aggregate. And that's it. Heading into the last eight. Ports looking for Bayic. Jabari. Tavio again. Brozovic. And for once, Brozovic's touch has let him down. He's on Yukuru. He's crowded out. Brozovic. Yukuru back at him. And going through a slightly untidy spell. Hassan Ashuesh wins his side this road. And Simon Yayat is asking for more from the home fans. Kapari. Instead, it's with uh, Noah Kami, who's very ambitiously looking for the run of Fashion Sakala. That victory against Pactacor, they were lightning quick on the break, and that was what made the difference for them. Something similar. Ronaldo. Two around him, but he's still going. It's an excellently timed challenge, though. Mane. It's heavier. Brozovic. From Ronaldo, can't find his target this time, but it's 
in the air well from Lajami. Nasser just looking to find some kind of groove. Otavio is looking for the ball over the top. Ronaldo, they're back on his heels that side. Alcalaf. Kemi is certainly dropping the deeper of the, the front three. Well, Fashion Sakala has been penalised by the referee. They're trying to use Mura Kemi as the target man with Onyekuru and Sakala pushing on ahead of him, almost as at wide forwards. is 34 years of age now. It's Brozovic. Laporte finding Bejic. Bejic into Mane. He's looking for Ronaldo. Mane again. Goes tumbling. Nothing going from the referee. Cowie. Tavio. Sent to Kabi. Now Sakala. Zavich was nipping at his heels. He's Al Shuesh. Now Akemi. He's looking for Onyekuru with the ball over the top. It's well read by Lajami. Able to gather comfortably. And the stoppage is that you know, Kemi looks as though he's got a problem. It's for the uh, umpteenth time this season. The Home supporters serenade Cristiano Ronaldo. Looks like no, okay, mate. His night may well be over. Sultan Mandash is uh, preparing to replace him. Missed the goal again. It's an excellent ball over the top. Defending isn't great, it must be said. And the goalkeeper caught out, ball between his legs. But Octavio, Al Nasser, and Luis Castro won't get. It certainly looks as though now Akemi is done. And Sultan Mandash, who played in that first leg, will come on to replace him. Is a blow for their chances of getting back into this game. I'll fire it. So now Kemi has got four goals so far this season in all competitions. Second top goal scorer. So that change then about to be made. So to Mandash is the man on to replace the big 34-year-old striker. 29-year-old winger on to replace him. Goals limited for Mandash so far this season. He got one goal in the league. He's got twice in the Champions League. Caught with the ball away. And that's brilliant footwork from Alcabari. Steps away effortlessly from the challenge. It's for the give and go from Mane. Here's Bejic and Ronaldo screaming forward around the penalty spot. It's driven over. Ronaldo 
asking for a floated delivery. First involvement for Mandash to substitute. No surprise at all by the possession statistic. Just 20% for the visitors. This is Sakala, excellent challenge from the port though. And as far as Mandash once more. Switch this one out to the far side, the Jami. Able just to volley it away. Al Hati just bundles Otebia to the ground. Free kick. Can't be too many complaints there. 31 minutes in. Now set leading by one goal to nil. Otebia, the goal scorer. Rozovic. and Tavio has to be in again. Goalkeeper out quickly. So well there, Stojkovic. Yeah. Using Brozovic and Tavio. Careless in possession. Yes, and now Hati looks to bring it away. He's looking for the run of Sakala, who is definitely now playing as the out and out striker. And Kira and Mandash, the two substitutes, or the two wingers even. Mandash, the substitute, I was trying to say. And Kabari. Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. Time and space for Emmerich Laporte. Brozovic. Yeah, yeah. And held up by Al Hati. Al Kibari. Mane, Brozovic, Ronaldo, he's looking for Mane again, first time ball out is a good one, and Ronaldo's picked up a spot around the penalty spot, the delivery is well blocked, Corte with a tidy up, Otavia, Tidy from the home side. Rosovic and Tavio again. From Ronaldo. Tavio. Quite a little bit of pressure onto them. That's an excellent challenge. Hati to win the ball back for his side. And up by Onyekuru. Now here's Al Kalaf. A little bit of spell, a little bit of time in possession. So, two wonders for the visitors. of defending for them to do in the second 34 minutes or so. And Nikuru, and his pocket picked. And now Ronaldo. There's Brozovic going through the middle. There's Mane further over. Ronaldo looks to go on his own. And Ronaldo fouled according to the referee. And you can see just what the Alfire players think of that particular decision. Card has come out for Noah Falhati. So a free kick, it shall be. The 
It's certainly a bump on Ronaldo as he's going through at pace. Is there enough for a foul? Well, you can make your own mind up. The referee was certainly closer than I am, and he felt there was enough. See, they're still at a great deal of distance on the free kick. So it will be Brozovic to look to pick somebody out rather than Cristiano Ronaldo to have a strike on goal. I said in the first leg, he was over pretty much everything, was Brozovic. Creative spark for this Al NASA side. <laughs> so Brozovic to take. Set up towards Ronaldo. It's off the post. Frustration. Cristiano Ronaldo, I think he was offside as well. An excellent delivery from Brozovic. Kabari just looking for Mane, won't find him. Mane, can only foul his man, who is uh, Sama al Kalaf. Here's the ball in again. Say, so I don't think he was offside when the ball was played. So the game resumed with a free kick. And that again, I don't see any reason why that would have been ruled out. And that found the back of the net. Here's Al Kalaf. Need some help. Brozovic snapping at his heels. Al Kalaf again. He's looking for Fashion Sakala with the ball in behind. It's well read, though. And we need Abdullah. Third choice goalkeeper. Pretty happy with the way his night's going so far. There's Laporte. Kabari. Oh, that was on his way. The flag stays down momentarily, although the referee's assistant does decide to raise the flag in the end. That's one of the strange ones. You can understand when this we're going through on goal, where the assistant will keep his flag down because of VAR. But there, if he's absolutely certain, rather than pulling, putting it up then. He could just as easily put it up straight away if he's, again, absolutely certain there's nothing happening. It does frustrate players, it frustrates managers, it frustrates fans. Anyway, we'll get up a soapbox with that one. Here's Al Kapari. Brozovic. Brozovic again. Over the ports. It's about all conquering Manchester City side. Batavia. Kivari. Music Mane. Happy to slow things down again and just try and lure Al Fire out. Quicken the tempo. Bitch. Looking for Mane. Trying to roll away from his defender. It's Al Bakari, who did well. Reports. Brozovic, 
Just wonder what Grazovic can do at half time. Trying to his side more on the front foot in the second half. Certainly have to ask more questions of Abdullah. And the Nasser back line. Sakala drives into the penalty area. Can he pick somebody out? And it's a dangerous ball, and well, Abdullah nearly forced into action there off his own man. Sakala did well driving to the touchline. That could have gone absolutely anywhere. Oh, Abdullah Al Kabari, as it is, it's behind for the Al Fire corner. See their first corner of the game. And I'll take it is the substitute, Sultan Mandash. Suggested looking penalty area. In comes the delivery. Well, the referee's seen a push. The kick to the home side. Just a little nudge, wasn't it? That's enough for the referee's liking. Free kick. Port into Brozovic. Big money arrivals. There's Brozovic. Such a, a great time at Inter and in Croatian International. So they've got a really important player for Al Nasser in the heart of midfield. Bejic. Jami. Home fans trying to lift their side again as we head towards half time. Breakdown in communication involving uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and Yaya. Well, Fashion Sakala has been caught offside. Brozovic. Kavari. Fans putting on a great display over on the far side. The last minute of normal time at the end of the first half. Here's Laporte. Brozovic into Mane. Rozovic again, there's Ronaldo with him, and that's where he's gone. Ronaldo, can he find an angle for a shot? Well, no, he can't. There's the defender there, Makari is able to do enough, but here's Mane trying to ask questions of his own. Al-Khalaf able to bring it away. That's a good ball to Sakala, and he's got the pace to get there too. Sakala against Lajami, fashion Sakala looks to go for goal. And well, Abdullah. Certainly felt that uh, that effort was on target. Sent sprawling the goalkeeper. It's well wide in the end from Fashion Sakala, but half a chance for Alfaya. Four minutes added on at the end of the first half. Manny try and chase this one down. Now Kalab sent tumbling by Cristiano Ronaldo, and Cristiano Ronaldo will be booked by the referee. And no 
Lewis Castro across to remonstrate with the official. And he might be in very big trouble with the official. He's picked up a yellow card himself. And Cristiano Ronaldo picks up the yellow card. And he's going to ground, isn't he, before he slips, before Ronaldo gets there. And then Ronaldo stands on his foot. And you can see why there is the annoyance from Ronaldo and indeed from Luis Castro. But if Ronaldo continues to protest the way that he is, then he might find himself getting another yellow. Very firm message from the referee is that I'm in charge here. So you can understand the frustration, but once he's given the yellow, he's not going to change his mind, the referee. He's still just walking away. There's Stojkovic with the ball forward. with Abdullah. The Shami. Two of the added on four minutes have been played. Brozovic. Mane. Needs and tidy using the ports and Kabari is looking for Bayic. Bayic has found Ronaldo. Ronaldo and Octavio. Yeah, yeah, that's Ronaldo in the middle. Octavio looking for the give and go. Steady look to try and wriggle through the defenders. He's done well here. And Cristiano Ronaldo was waiting for it two yards out. And that is a vital intervention from Vladimir Stojkovic. Terrific work from Octavio. Found Ronaldo, the tie would surely have been over. And Yukuru is the latest to have his name taken by the referee. And a raised arm. The reason why he's smashed the arm into the face, isn't he, of Emmerich Laporte? Yes, that's it. Incident just before, though. Really good work. The goalkeeper had to get there. He had to be decisive, otherwise Ronaldo had a tap-in. So the court now needs a bit of treatment. Eyes are completely on the ball there from, from Onyekuru. I don't think there's any malice at all, but at the same time, you can understand why the yellow's been given. So Vuk Razovic with plenty to think about as we head towards half-time. Luis Castro will be, or at least he should be, fairly relaxed. And this 2-0 aggregate lead. Masai very much looking in charge of this tie. Brozovic with this free kick. Brozovic goes looking for Ronaldo. Ronaldo finding Mane. Mane tries to help it on its way. Still kept it alive inside the penalty area, Sadio Mane. Eventually bundled away. And here's Al Khalaf. Four minutes have been played. And on we go. The referee has now seen enough. So half time then, just the one goal in the first 45 minutes. It came after 17 minutes. Great ball into the box of Al Kavari, met by the onrushing Ottavio. He was able to nod the ball home from close range and make it 2 0 
on aggregate. Al Nasser very much in charge of the tie and on the night half time. Al Nasser one, Al Fire nil.
Hello again then everybody, and welcome back to Al Awel Park in Riyadh. If you are just joining us at halftime between Al Nasser and Al Fayed, it is 1-0 to the home side, 2-0 on aggregate. Octavio, the difference in that first half, nodding home after 17 minutes. Cristiano Ronaldo striking the woodwork as well. Nasser Al Fayed, well, their best chance came right at the end of that first half at Fashion Sakala. Hitting an effort from 18 yards, but high and wide. I certainly hope they can offer more resistance in this second half. As they try and stay in this tie. The message from Vukrasovic surely is that the next goal is absolutely crucial and they must get it if they are to have any chance of progressing. So second half then underway. Doesn't look as though we've had any changes at half time. So we'll go through the two sides for you in just a second. There's on fire looking to work. Bayic on the left hand side. We'll go through the sides now, starting with the home side. Abdullah in goal. Al Amri, Lejami, Laporte, and Bayic make up the back four. Al Kabari and Brozovic, the two deep midfield players. Yaya, Otavio, the goal scorer. Sadio Mane, and Cristiano Ronaldo. And here is Brozovic finding the goal scorer, Otavio. And it was available outside of him. Mane calling for it on the other flank. Yaya. As for Al Fire, well, they line up. Vladimir Stojkovic is in between the posts. That four made up of Al Khalif, Shawesh, Bakawi, and Rashidi. Henry, Onyakuri, Al Safari, Kabi, and Al Hati. Midfield men, Sultan Mandashin. Fashion Sakala up top. They had to make a change in the first half. And with it now, Akemi going off injured after half an hour. There's Mane looking for Otavio. And Otavio got there. And Ashuesh. The Jami. Otavio. From Mane and Brozovic. That's a good ball through, and Ronaldo in on the goalkeeper, Cristiano Ronaldo! The ball is in the back of the net, but the flag has gone up. Well, it was your typical composed Cristiano Ronaldo finish, but he's gone just a fraction too soon. Defender can't get there. Ronaldo slots home but denied by the flag. Much to the chagrin of Luis Castro. What a start to the second half that would have been for Al Nasser. There they are, 
has checked and is happy with the referee's assistance decision. So on we go. It remains 1-0. Archuesh looking for the, for the ball over the top towards Onya Kiru. Machami tidies up well, but he's given it away. And here's Sakala. And he's just run out of room on this left flank. And towards the end of that first half, Sakala was very much playing as an out and out number nine. Here's the number nine at the other end, Cristiano Ronaldo. Feels he should have a corner. The referee doesn't agree. And you can see he's absolutely right, Cristiano Ronaldo, that he should have a corner. Going to kick the decision. Here's Kabi. Losing out Rashidi. Captain Ashuesh, able to bring it out from the back. And Safari. Mandash. Kabi. Have a flick on from Onya Kuru and Sakala looking for an early ball. It's in towards fashion. Sakala, his touch lets him down though. And it's gathered comfortably from uh, Walid Abdullah. Now Brozovic, Mane. Brozovic once more. Latavia. And Jami. Is at the centre back is Lajami, but wants to play the right back again this evening. And Sultan Al Ganam missing out of the squad altogether. It's been given away. Kabi, and he was desperate to win it back, and he succeeds in fouling his man. For Ronaldo, and Ronaldo can't quite get there. Well marshalled by Al Rashidi. Mane, some tumbling from uh, Sultan Mandash, but decision goes the way of the latter. Free kick to Al Fayed. So we go, which was well timed. Again, as I mentioned in the first half, can have a not important to score right away, Alfire. They don't really have to throw the kitchen sink at Al Nasser in the early stages of this second half, but they do need to get the next goal. And Sakala is trying to get there. Goalkeeper is out well, is Abdullah. Fire score next but when they get it. Even if they, they get it with 10 minutes to go, then they can really have a go at Al Nasser. And if they go too attacking too early, you feel they'll be picked off by the home side. Here's Brozovic. Ronaldo through the middle, and that's where the ball has gone. Cristiano Ronaldo, it's in on the goalkeeper. It's well saved from Stojkovic. Again, a few years ago, Ronaldo would probably have just used his pace and stretched away from the defender. Had to go early, and Sam Rashidi was able to stay with him. Here's Otavia. Now Brozovic. Brozovic, good ball. The flag stays down initially. And there is eventually flagged offside by the referee's assistant. 
ball stuck underneath his feet. Here's that effort from Ronaldo, another wonderful ball from Brozovic. A comfortable save from Vladimir Stojkovic. 40-year-old Serbian goalkeeper. Kabi. Here's Sakala, and Sakala looks to help it on to Sultan Mandash. Sultan Mandash is judged to be offside by the referee's assistant. Challenge on Mane at all. The card has come out not for the challenge though, but for the reaction from Alba Kawi. Let's see why Alba Kawi was unhappy. There's a, certainly a foot on the ball. does take Sadio Mane out. And two or three times you've seen players crowd around the referee though. Never nice to see. And so it's Ronaldo again. Ronaldo hits his back rather than falling into his stride. And the fire can quickly try and bring it away. The referee's seen another challenge he doesn't like. A little bit fussy. Fire. Go on with Al Shawesh. Al Harty. Harty under pressure. Some good work. Maya wins his side to throw. Bright and lively. And Manyaya. That's Octavio, he's found Brozovic and Mane available outside of him. That's good work though from Sultan Mandash. So they're just wanting too much time on the ball. Al Rashidi. Ten minutes in to this second half. Composed and able to use the ports to tidy things up. Kabari, 27 year old Saudi international. Excellent ball from him for the, uh, the goal in the first half. He had a really good first 45 minutes as well. And Kuro. Certainly playing alongside quality players in the heart of that midfield, isn't he? Al Kibor with uh, Brozovic and Otavio. And he's again. Otavio once more finding Mane. And Ronaldo. Mane again, trying to help it onto Bayic, who made the break from fullback. Brozovic. Again, from the United man. Brozovic, Bayic, and the referee is going to take action with a challenge on Bayic. Yellow card has come out for Al Khalaf. Certainly heard the yell as uh, Bayic was caught. suffice there, caught with the trailing leg rather than the uh, the first leg, the tackling leg. So 
just a yellow, but a painful one for Aziz Bech. Kabari. Side. Loose ball from him. And there are white shirts streaming forward. And the goalkeeper has to be out quickly here, Abdul. He's done really well with Fashion Sakala racing through the middle. And just trying to ask some questions. Is that Rashidi? Once handball, it would just be a throw. There was that ball as it was played. It was onside as well. And the channel in between fullback and the defender, and central defender. Manny's header on to Ronaldo. Continues his run back to Cristiano Ronaldo. Not quite to open up for him, but Al Nasser are back in possession. Here's Otavia. Mane. Brozovic. Ronaldo. Sadio Mane. Bari to the goal scorer. Sevilla, Kavari again. He's looking for Yaya with the ball over the top. The forward from fullback is Lajami. And Lajami fires it across goal, looking for Ronaldo. Turned away. Yaya finding Brozovic. Now are gone. Certainly a case of so far so good for Al Nasser. Progressing to the quarterfinals as things stand. Of UAE as things stand. Mane. Brozovic. A terrific looking ball from Brozovic. Can Aya keep that in play? Well, the answer is not quite. Terrific idea from the former Inter man. And ball forward and the port is able just to allow it to run to Bayic. Bayic was nearly caught out by Fashion Sakala, but he's on its way forward, the Australian. Al Kabari, Sadio Mane. Sloppy. Here's Sakala. Nyukuru was trying to make his way through the middle. Except Sakala was caught by Sadio Mane. So free kick and a chance to. Try and work, Walid Abdullah. It's a desperate research for a way back into this tie. Gives the free kick. It's glanced away and glanced behind. Remembering the ports. with this corner kick. Right on top of the goalkeeper, and it's met by the head of Laporte again. For another Alfaya corner. Dash again to take. Before we can, the referee wants a word here with uh, Walid Abdullah.
Walsh with the corner. Away again from the ports and able to bring this away with Otavia. Otavia is Mane with him, and that's a clever back heel to the former Liverpool man, Mane, Ronaldo. Inside the ground, urging Ronaldo to have a go from 40 yards or more. Brozovic. Kivari. From Alan Amri. Brozovic. Otavio again. Otavio is looking for Mane. And it certainly isn't up and away. Mane back towards Ronaldo. Ronaldo's gone to ground. And nothing going from the referee, despite the ambitious appeal from the crowd. Fire and try and build, but the pass is cut out from Mane. available and he goes looking for the ball in behind but asking too much of Aziz Bejic. She's at joint down that's it on loan from uh, Melbourne City. of age now is Bech. I mentioned he's a, a well-traveled defender. He's been in Turkey and the Netherlands, Scotland, as well as Australia. Now in Saudi. Here's Otavia. Kavari to Ronaldo. And that's it, still dominating possession. With 25 minutes left of this one to go. Manic. Fights Bayage forward. Sadio Manic. Think about having a go here. It's Mane! It's fired over the top. Certainly got the power on the effort. Just catching the side netting on the way through. Had that one covered. Here's Sakala. Sakala couldn't quite get away. Otavio. Kabari to Brozovic. Otavio. Just does so well to find these pockets of space. Kozovic, the first time, it's always available for a pass. It doesn't matter if there are players around him, it's just always finds a bit of space. Always available for the little square ball. Here is Brozovic. Brozovic looking for Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. There's a Tavio outside of him. Tavio skips away from his man into the penalty area. But Tavio is trying to pull it back for Brozovic. Cut out. Importantly so, but here's Brozovic again. Brozovic with the ball in. It's put behind and out of play for the Al Nasser corner. It's terrific work from Tavio. Time for changes. And Abdul Rahman Al Safari is going to make way. And Mohanad Al Kadi is going to come on to replace him. Al Safari certainly not impressed at being taken off here, is he? I would think with his side trailing, he'd be in a rush to get off the pitch, but. So Arcadi on. The second now fire change. Brozovic with the corner. Helped away by Onyekuru. Now 
Kabari. And again, another decent ball in. It's gathered by Stojkovic in the second attempt. Stojkovic has found out Shoesh. Sakala. Sakala did very well. And he couldn't find the pass he was looking for to the substitute, Al Kedi. Ronaldo is onside from the throw. And Ronaldo, oh, there's just no support around him. Now Kedi. Sakala. Can you find a cross? Sakala is deflected on the way through, and it just makes things easier for Walid Abdullah. Brozovic to Mane. Yeah, just quite happy just to tidy things up again. Here's a Tabia. Game in the heart of midfield. Latavia. Currently the difference maker. Brozovic. Mane. Now Bejic. Bejic has skipped away from one challenge. He won't get away from the second one, but he has won it back. And Bejic has found Mane. And Mane has found Ronaldo. But Ronaldo can't take the ball with him. Disappointingly so for the vast majority inside the stadium. Kabi. Twenty minutes and now you feel it's time for Al Fire to start lifting the tempo and throwing a few bodies forward. And really try and ask more questions of Abdullah. Of course, that means they could get picked off on the break. And here's Otavio. And Otavio to find Yaya. And Yaya has Mane from the far side. He can't pick out the former Bayern and Liverpool man. And staying down. And referee happy for things to go on. And and now get some treatment if he needs it, the winger. <laughs> Suspects the 22-year-old will be OK. Struck. I don't think there's any danger of a handball there. It's come off the, uh, the defender's heels on the way through. Yeah. 10 to 23 in May. He's already got three caps to his name for the Saudi national side. Shouldn't keep that in play, and he won't quite do so. Asking rather a lot of the substitute. Brozovic. And so far, things looking pretty straightforward for Al Nasser. Is there to be a twist in the tail? 
in the closing 17 minutes of normal time. Kapari. Finding Otavia. Kapari again, looking for Cristiano Ronaldo. That's good work from Al Shuesh. Now Kabi looking to force that one through to Sakala. And Sakala entered the second one too. It's all the way through to Willie Abdullah. are in goal now with number one and number two choice goalkeepers out injured and has done everything expected of him so far this evening and the referee is going to have a word here with Kabi since al Kibari tumbling this time First, Al Nasser change, and it's the goal scorer, Octavia, who's going to make way. And here is that goal. Terrific ball into the penalty area. Octavia able to evade all defenders. Nobody tracked him from midfield. His header separates the two sides on the night. And now Salem is on to replace him. So a light for light change. Hey, hey, Al-Salem is perhaps a little bit more uh, of an orthodox midfield player, whereas Otavio likes to play in the lines. And from Al Amri to Brozovic. Grosovic here's Laporte Laporte through the middle to Cristiano Ronaldo and has Mane available outside of him which is where he's gone but Mane on a different wavelength to Ronaldo still haven't quite got that combination right of Al Nasser. They're going to make another change here. And it's Hamid Yaya. He's uh, going to make way. He's worked hard on that flank. And Samuel Naji will replace him. Is a, another player who's not especially happy to make way. <laughs> Off he comes. Almaje on to replace him. 27 year old. That's across the touchline, and it will go behind for the corner. Cheaply conceded. The ball floated in. Helped away. And that will be a goal kick this time. Salaam. So 13 minutes left then. 13 minutes to go. Can Alfire force their way back into this tie? to have any chance they will need to score very very soon indeed Again, they haven't asked too many questions oh, but will he have done it and he's back with the experienced shot stopper Man 
Cavani has just about kept that in play. And he's on his way, is Sadio Mane. And Mane guilty of dragging his man back. Free kick. Desperately doubling up on him. And on the shoulder, free kick, easy decision. Kabari back with Laporte. And Laporte's using Bayic. This is Lise in the heart of midfield and diving in is Al Kabari, and the referee doesn't like that challenge at all. That's it. Yet another yellow. That's certainly adding up. Fourth yellow forward. That's a man. Five for the visitors. And I guess you can add Luis Castro as well. He's had a yellow card too. Not too much to say after Cristiano Ronaldo picked up the yellow card. Rashidi, Makawi, Bejic will step in and win that. And he's found Sami Al-Najai, he's got himself to the touchline, he will settle for the corner. And the corner is ever, which Brozovic will trot across the take. Brozovic with the ball in, goalkeeper comes, didn't quite get there. To rely on the defender ahead of him is Ronaldo. Mane. Mane falls all the way back to Nassiz Bejic. Mane using Brozovic. Bejic. And down the try once more. Bejic continues his run. And tidied up from Al Rashidi. Just to work this one into the box and Brozovic. He was looking for Mane. Didn't find him. As the home fans come to life again. I feel they're almost there. Al Kabari, Mane, Mane sent tumbling as the Mexican wave finally dies out around the ground. Spoken too soon, he started up once again. And it's the, the free kick to Al Nasser. So again, that means Brozovic standing over it. In from Brozovic, right on top of the goalkeeper. And Stojkovic gathers it well. And referee given a free kick anyway for a, a collision inside the penalty area. And so that was Shidi went to ground. It is to be the end for our fire. Well, they can be happy with their efforts in the competition in this what is their first ever entry into the Champions League. Certainly a clear handball from Sultan Mandash there. And it's been a, a good couple of years for our fire picking up their first ever piece of silverware with that King's Cup. 
beating Al Hilal in the final. To win silverware for the first time in the club's long history. And they've done well to get out the group stage. And certainly something they can take from the competition as they look to try and build it's all important for them that they don't get dragged into a relegation fight at the bottom of the Saudi Pro League and well, that's it they certainly have their sights set at the other end of the table seven points behind now Halal after uh, 20 games Here's Mane, as they look for a second, it's Mane in on the goalkeeper, Sadio Mane. And he's fluffed his lines. He may well have been offside anyway. He's just about level, he had Ronaldo desperate for the square ball. It wasn't the cleanest of contacts, was it, from Sadio Mane? Well wide of the posts in the end, but... Free kick was given for offside. I'm saying with Al Nasser, will their targets uh, the Saudi Pro League title and trying to pick up this trophy for the first time? And a couple of semi finals. What they really want is to go all the way. Taking another step closer this evening. So that seven-point gap. This is looking the better bet for Al Nasser, although their form has been sensational in the league. Unfortunately for them, so has Al at the top of the table. And here's Ronaldo in on the goalkeeper. Stojkovic, well, he couldn't do enough, Stojkovic. And Cristiano Ronaldo will slot home from close range. And that is that. The tie is over. Cristiano Ronaldo on target yet again. Eight games in a row now. He's found the back of the net. It is another Asian Champions League goal for Cristiano Ronaldo. Now five and six for him just come from a simple ball over the top he looks to be on side to the naked eye there Cristiano Ronaldo and Stojkovic wasn't strong enough not decisive enough in coming there he was trying to make sure he didn't take Ronaldo out but in the end it's the simplest of finishes for Cristiano Ronaldo and now Nasser are heading into the quarterfinals VAR will have a look just to be on the safe side to so the naked eye it certainly looked on side to me and Ronaldo hopeful you can see his expression as he looks to the sidelines to his coaches they will be having a look themselves and the goal will stand. Now Nasser have a second goal. They have a third in the tie. Now Fire will respond by making a treble substitution. Well, the manner of the second goal will certainly be frustrating for uh, for Vic Razovic. He would have expected his goalkeeper to get there. Changes now coming. Leon Yakuru is going to make way as we have a look at the uh, incident again, the goal again, the offside incident again. Ronaldo just onside. It's 
So Khalid Kabi, one of the men coming on. It's Fashion Sakala, Kabi, and it's on Yakira make way. Al Rama, Madrashi, and Kabi, the men on. Once again, the Al Nasser fans serenade their hero, Cristiano Ronaldo. Can look forward to that quarter final tie. And so they played on the 3rd and the 10th of March. Quarter finals. And that's it travel for the the first leg of that site second leg on the 10th at home Salim the jammy so we're inside the final minutes of the 90. Brozovic. Al Kibari. It's going all the way through to Stojkovic. Of course, there was the warning, wasn't there, just before that Ronaldo goal? There's uh, Sadio Mane got through one on one with the goalkeeper. He flopped his lines, but Ronaldo didn't. minutes have been played. We'll wait to see how much time is added on the salvages. I suspect most in a, a white shirt here will just want the game to be over and get away. It's going to be some good memories for them from the competition. Certainly that 4-1 victory at Pacta Court to get them into this stage of the competition. What a terrific performance that was. end just don't quite have enough to take out their uh, Saudi rivals Al Nasser the change is coming Sadio Mane is going to make way and the Jami is going to make way as well The jammy. It's normally a centre half by trade, but playing it, it's at full back today. And Brozovic will make way to. All right. Nawaf and Al Hassan, the players on for the closing two or three minutes. And Brozovic again, terrific in the heart of midfield. Another assist to his name. Time, perhaps for the icing on the cake. Last second, they can have one more. Ronaldo certainly wants the early ball over the top, and that's where it's gone. And it's up towards Ronaldo. And Ronaldo, well, his touch has let him down, and he's offside anyway. Winded there, Ronaldo. He's caught by Al Rashidi, but he will be okay. Well, that's very, very fussy from the referee. It's finally happy. Back with Stojkovic, and Stojkovic under pressure will just put the ball straight into touch and they're in a hurry to get on with things Ronaldo looks to find the cross it's too deep and can now fire get themselves a consolation to work it out to this flank it's well cut out though and this might open up again here 
And it's with the substitute. Hello, well, it's well gathered though from the goalkeeper. Didn't really get hold of the effort. And it's a comfortable save for Vladimir Stojkovic. He's given it away. The ports. Party about to start for the Al Nasser fans. They'll be dreaming. Picking up the first ever Asian Champions League. And you have to think, when signings like Cristiano Ronaldo and Emmerich Laporte and Cello Brozovic, Sadio Mane, that was what was on the mind, picking up that particular trophy. Salim. The four minutes have been played. And there is the referee's whistle. And Al Nasser will take their place in the quarter-final. They've won here on the night by two goals to nil.